Hi everybody, Mark here with My Engineering, and today we're going to be scanning one of our leak enclosure halves uh, for the purpose of doing an inspection, a uh, quality inspection on it. Um, the reason why we would probably want to lean towards a 3D scan for an inspection of this type rather than doing a, a more of a traditional method with calipers and, and that sort of thing, uh, a mechanical means of measuring, is there's a few features on here that are a little bit challenging to measure uh, with traditional methods like uh, a caliper or anything like that. Uh, and that would be, uh, let's say, the, the diameter or the, the distance between two holes. Um, so what you'd have to do is essentially get the diameter of each hole, uh, half that, uh, add both holes together, and then measure the distance in between them. Uh, there's a lot of math involved there. It could be a little bit time consuming. In 3D space, uh, the, the software will generate an axis, a center axis for that cylinder itself and it just measures axis to axis. It's a, a very quick process. Uh, other features that are rather difficult to measure mechanically, um, you know, you can get the thickness of the overall part, not very difficult. Uh, let's say you want to get the inside face uh, to the back face. A little bit more challenging, a, a typical caliper won't be able to, to reach over uh, to get the inside. Um, and then ones that are a little bit more complicated yet, if you, had a dimension on a drawing, as we do for this one, uh, you need to measure the inside face here to the center of the radius for the uh, 45 degree angle here. Um, so what that's going to do is it's going to generate a cylinder around the radius uh, on the inside here, and you'll be able to measure the face to, to the center axis of that cylinder. Um, mechanically, again, very, very difficult to do. Uh, so to do this inspection, we're going to be using a blue light laser. Uh, the reason we want to use a blue light laser, it's one of the most accurate types of, uh, of light-based uh, 3D imaging that you can, you can use. Um, it performs very well on shiny objects. So in this case, we have a stainless steel part. Uh, it, it will actually perform very good at getting, even though it's slightly a mirrored finish, very reflective. Uh, it will get the data. Uh, we won't actually need to use scanning spray in this case. Uh, and then the accuracy uh, for a blue light laser, uh, like the one that I'm going to be using today, is 0 0.02 millimeters, uh, which is less than one thousandth of an inch. Uh, so that's well within the tolerance of, of what our inspection requires. So first things we need to do to prep for our uh, scanning is uh, we need obviously our part, our scanner, and then uh, some kind of a surface that has markers on it uh, so that the scanner knows its position in space. So that is one of the features of the blue light scanner, uh, which actually works into our advantage. That's part of the reason why it is able to be so accurate, uh, is it uses these re little reflective uh, markers, or in this case stickers, uh, in order to know its position in space. Uh, and a big advantage of that is in order to get 100% coverage on our part here, uh, we're going to have to scan it twice. And so I've actually placed a few stickers around the part here um, that we can use for alignment of the two separate scans. And so what that's going to give us is a perfect match. Uh, when you're using something like a laser point splice uh, in, your, in your 3D software to bring two models into, to merge them into one, there can be a little bit of inaccuracies. It does more of a best fit. Uh, when you're using actual targets, uh, the, the fit is, is near perfect. Uh, so the accuracy is quite a bit higher. All right, so we're looking at our scanning software now. The very first step is going to be scanning in those little target markers. We're going to move it all around our part, make sure that we get all the, the, the targets we're going to be using, and make sure that you get all the ones that are on the part that we're going to be using for, for alignment later. And now we can switch directly to scanning mode. And so now you see all our cross laser lines. And we just basically paint the part, filling in all the little spots that we require. Nice little feature with this particular scanner. We can actually change the laser modes. So there's fine scanning. I hit it again, and it's got single laser. And what that does is it has a very intense single uh, laser line. Uh, it's going to allow you to get fairly deep inside some of these cylinders. Because uh, you want to get enough of that data down deep in the holes so that you can get an uh, accurate cylinder uh, built so that our, our inspection is uh, as reliable as it possibly can be.
And that's all we're going to require for this. And so we can do a quick verification, make sure that we got all the surfaces that we need on our scan. Uh, this one's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to delete the background and then scan the opposite side. And uh, we'll start again when I do the alignment. All right, so basically now we have our second scan. You can see our first scan is right here. Uh, both are cleaned up and they're ready to merge. So first thing we want to do is uh, go into our merging uh, tool here. Select both the scans. Then what we're going to want to do is just select the markers that we want to use as the uh, the ones to do the merge. That's only the markers that are on the actual part. So you select it on our second piece here, and it's going to run its little algorithm and then match the two together. Now you can see on the right hand side here, the two pieces are actually fitting very well together. Um, that's because, yeah, we used the marker splice, basically a perfect model. Uh, and that is ready to export. Well, I lied a little bit there. This actually isn't quite ready for export. Uh, what we're looking at here is a laser point file. This is the merge piece. Uh, so all our, our data is there, but it's not quite a mesh, like a polygonal file. Uh, so we need to wrap that. And that's actually a very quick process. You'll see here it is now complete. Uh, so now this is a polygonal model. Um, it has 408,000 polygons for us to measure from in our inspection software. Uh, it is an STL, so that is ready to export, or uh, and we'll be importing it directly into PolyWorks, which is our preferred uh, inspection software for this. Um, the entire process, start to finish, uh, should take you no more than about five or six minutes uh, to scan it one side, flip it over, scan the opposite side, and then merge the two together and export it as a mesh file. If you guys have any other questions, please reach out. We're always happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.